hi you guys welcome back to the vlog i literally haven't vlogged in so long and today i just got the sudden urge to pick up the camera and start vlogging so here we are i'm gonna vlog my weekend for you guys it is just a casual weekend i'm home all weekend which is so nice i had such a slow morning and i absolutely loved it i laid in bed i had coffee watched youtube and it was like the best morning ever but i just got ready i need to head out to my family's house because there's a husker game today and we're all out there watching husker games but before i do that i'm going to go buy a coffee shop because i made my coffee this morning i showed you guys and i think that there's something wrong with my espresso machine because i literally my coffee tastes like milk it tastes like sweet and milk which i don't know <laughs> why that is literally i just need to buy an espresso but i don't want to spend the money so i literally am going to go buy a coffee shop and get a shot of espresso to put in it because i already have the milk base and i don't want all of that to go to waste so we're gonna stop by a coffee shop before we head out to my family so i just want to start off this vlog and say hey i've missed you guys so much i'm so excited to start vlogging so many things have changed i'm in a new house i moved out of my parents house i'm in a new house with friends there's so many exciting things coming up i just want to start vlogging my life again for you guys i'm not looking very festive today um, i live in nebraska so the colors are like red i'm obviously not dressed for that but i honestly just felt like being cute and comfy today and this is what we came up with but let's go to a coffee shop because i'm so excited to have my coffee it's 80 degrees but i'm acting like it's fall because i want to wear this shirt like i want to start wearing sweaters to me it's fallout also not me literally bringing the last cup with milk basically this is my favorite coffee shop it's literally so cute it's an old car wash and they literally turned it into a coffee shop it's the cutest thing ever it's like a local coffee shop so i don't think it's anywhere else other than nebraska like midwest hi hey, how are you? good how are you good. can i just do a shot of espresso over ice yeah, and then you're gonna like add espresso. yes yeah. yeah and then do you guys have decaf espresso yes can i do that perfect that's okay. all yep Right, thank you so much that is so cute. um i know i actually have no idea you know summer fridays yes i have just their like a uh, sheer lip gloss on okay and then it's a nyx lip pencil i think that like so bare or something like okay. that okay yeah no i've been needing like a new little lippy so yeah the nyx that. ones are my favorite yeah that is so cute <laughs> thank I'll, you so I much there, so really they're so it. cheap and oh, they're like really? the best cheap ones oh, okay. yeah i use a maybelline and like those are okay like, 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 yeah. I'm like, I'm like, for all of one. No, I know. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, have a good day. Um, she was so sweet, okay. I love girls, girls. Even though I'm friends with all guys. Okay, we're gonna go park so that I can do this coffee. We're gonna try this. They gave me a large cup, which bless up. Yes, this looks so good. I should have asked for a straw. But I didn't even think about it. Also, I got decaf because honestly, caffeinated coffee hurts my stomach so bad. But I just can't give up coffee, so decaf is my. Hmm. It's good. I think it needs some maple syrup or a little sweetener. Gosh, I'm just not having good luck with coffee today, honestly. I just got back home from my parents house i'm gonna sit in my sunroom just for a couple minutes eat my pre-workout snack just because i'm a little bit hungry and i'm gonna head to work out i've been following this new workout plan and i literally love it i found it on tiktok it's like nothing i paid for or anything like that but i work out six days a week with it lifting and then an active rest day on sunday and i have my body has actually never felt stronger i just feel so strong i feel so light um i've honestly been loving it it's three days glutes and lower body two upper bodies and then a cardio and core day that's like the six days of workout and then usually on sundays i do like a walk i'll sometimes do pilates just really whatever i'm feeling but my body has felt so good this is only my second week of doing it like this is gonna be my last day of my second week doing it and i love it so much so yeah if you guys want me to share some of that work some of those workouts i will i don't know if i'm going to film today in the gym we'll see how busy it is and how confident i am in filming but for my pre-worker snack i'm having an rx bar this is the peanut butter chocolate i think it's a new flavor and this one has 12 grams of protein which i could be completely wrong but i feel like they used to only have like nine grams of protein I don't know but anyway i'm having that and then also just a beef stick for some extra protein i've really been trying to up my protein lately 
my protein intake having high protein snacks has really been helping that I got this Symbiotica glutathione. I've been wanting to try this for so long, but they're so expensive. I've honestly been wanting to try anything Symbiotica. I'm going to try it here. This is citrus berry, so it sounds really good. Everybody that takes them make them seem like they're really good, so we're going to try it. Glutathione is really good for like liver detox, which I need. I was on hormonal birth control for like six years of my life, which you know that my liver needs detox from that. Oh shoot, you're supposed to do this on an empty stomach. Or at least 20 minutes before food. And I'm literally about to eat a snack. But I already opened it. So we're just gonna... Hmm. That's like really sour. I need a drink of water. Not even sour. Like almost so sweet. It's like kind of tart. I don't really know how to explain that feeling. Or what that tastes like. I really want to start taking them. I got them. The reason I have this one back is because my dad got them to take. I just started my health coaching. And so I put him on like a regimen to kind of help him with things he's going through health-wise. And glutathione was something that I definitely recommended for him. So he got them. That's why I got to try one. But yeah, I'm going to eat my snack and then go work out. My workout and had a little snack and i've literally just been on the couch watching youtube resting kind of just enjoying my saturday i like to have a balance obviously because as much as i love like being really active and moving my body i feel like on the weekends i also just want the time to like lay on the couch and catch up on youtube or watch my show or whatever so i've been doing that and i'm gonna come kind of hungry it's supper time so i went to high vee after I worked out and got stuff to make. I think I'm gonna make a taco bowl tonight. Literally just like ground beef. I'm gonna put some cheese in there. I got some cottage cheese. I'm gonna make a um, like high protein guacamole to put in there also. And that's kind of what I'm thinking for supper. I want to film in my kitchen because I literally like I love showing meals and stuff. But in this new kitchen, first off, it's really bad lighting and it's also not that like aesthetically pleasing. It's literally green. The countertops are green and it's an older house that we moved into i live with three other girls it's like a college house so it's not that nice but it's just not that appealing in some areas which is just hard i feel like to film because i'm very much like want it to be aesthetically pleasing like i love watching videos with people in cute houses i don't know do you know what i'm trying to say i just got this meat from hy it's organic prairie pastor raised organic ground beef with like no hormones anything like that um and it's grass fed so i'm just going to ground this right now finished product it doesn't look that appetizing but i promise it is it's literally just a huge bowl of ground beef and then i added siete taco seasoning i did avocado with cottage cheese just to make like the guacamole high protein and then i just added some simple mills pita chips but i'm gonna go eat this and watch some youtube Okay, we're 
headed to my car. We're going to get Sonic water. This is like my favorite thing to do. Honestly, just hate carny water. There's someone out here, which is really embarrassing for me talking right now. Well, I was saying, we're going to Sonic. If you don't live in the Midwest and you probably don't know what Sonic is, it's literally like the best thing ever. You can get like slushies, just waters. It's basically just like a drink place. You can also get food there, but like Sonic to us when we were little and like grade school or high school, like going to Sonic was the thing with your friends. Like you would pick up all your friends and go to Sonic and like go get Sonic, like go get a slushie or whatever. I don't have any of that fake sugar anymore. Obviously it's just like, I'm scared of it to be completely honest. I don't want to put that in my body, but I still go and get Route 44 waters. They're literally just like these huge waters you'll see, I'll show you. But it's like my biggest hack to getting in more water throughout the day because I hate the taste of town water. I truly think it tastes disgusting and I, there are different tastes in water. Like well water is what I had at my home. So much better than town water. I know that the Sonic water is also just town water, but something about it, I don't know if it's the ice. They have like the really good pebble ice, you know? I don't know if that's what makes it taste better to me. Hi, welcome to Sonic, I'll help you. Can I please just do a Route 44 water? And else? Nope, that'll be it. Thank please you. Thank you. My goodness, he's just so chippy today. Yo. Thank you. And have a good day. Thank you so much, you too. Look at this thing. Like, bigger than my face. This is my Route 44 water. It's huge, and I love that they just switched to blue straws. I feel like it's so much cuter. That used to be red, but I'm loving the blue. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. I just got all ready for the day because we are headed to a fall festival in Hastings today, which is like a, all these vendors go to this big barn, and there's a bunch of fall and Christmas decorations, there's clothes, there's food. It's just like a really fun thing. And me and my sister and my mom go every year. So that's what we're doing today. I'm super excited, except for the fact that it's 90 degrees out. And I obviously wanted to dress fall. I got like these cutest jeans from Free People that I wanted to wear today. I haven't worn them yet. And I can't wear them because it's literally 90 degrees out. So I just kind of threw together an outfit that I think I won't get that hot in. I'll show you my outfit. I'm just wearing this like pink sweater. I left it open. I feel like that'll make it a little cooler. And then I'm just wearing this tube top underneath like a cream. I got this from Aerie I think a long time ago. And then my jean shorts are just Levi's. I'm wearing them with my new balances i'm bringing this purse with me so this is my little outfit i think it's very cute it definitely fits the 90 degree weather but i wish that i could have worn those jeans anyway my mom is on her way to pick me up it's 10 50 right now she's gonna pick me up at 11 and then we're gonna head there it's about an hour and a half drive i've been loving this hairstyle lately it's like the viral bun that's going all over TikTok. I've been doing it like crazy because it's so easy. I don't have to put extensions in and it still is like very cute. And I felt like for today where it's gonna be hot, it also will be like pretty cool. I made a little mud water and I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting for her to pick me up. But I wanted to say good morning. My mom's just leaving her house. So she's running behind. Anyway, I'm gonna go drink my mud water in the sunroom probably and then we're gonna go to the barn festival so i'll vlog while we're there and show you guys it's so cute it's literally like my favorite thing i know already that i'm gonna draw probably so much money because they have the cutest clothes but it's boutiques so it's like expensive clothes which always is fun you know Hi you guys, it's a little bit later. I'm back home. I've honestly been laying in bed, kind of just relaxing. We had such a good time at the Le Barn Festival. I vlogged a little bit for you guys. It was so pretty. It was so hot though. I actually was kind of dying. I'm glad I wore what I wore and I'm glad I wore shorts 
because it was so hot but it was so fun i love that there's so much christmas stuff because i always leave like wanting it to be christmas i love fall don't get me wrong but christmas is a hundred percent percent my favorite time of year it just gets me so excited like i feel like i leave every single year being like okay i want it to be christmas so tonight i'm actually gonna go out to my family's house me and my mom are gonna watch a recorded hallmark movie it's like a thing we do every time it gets fall time of year we always watch a christmas hallmark movie on sunday nights it just gets us in the mood for christmas it's just so cozy we always have like a little sweet lorraine's cookie or something we just like kind of romanticize the night and i love it it's something we've been doing for so long and now that i live closer to them i can do it so that's kind of my plan for tonight nothing special i don't have a lot of things that we got we ended up getting this gluten-free cheesecake which it's so hard to find anything gluten-free around here i feel like there's none of it in Kearney, nebraska so when i saw the stand i was like absolutely they had lemon pumpkin spice and then pistachio i think was the other kind and they also had gluten-free macaroons which were so good so we tried all of that we ended up getting a little pumpkin cheesecake to have tonight for our little dessert um and then we also ended up finding i wish i had a bag here but it was pre-made like banana bread mix or banana protein muffin mixes and it was literally all clean ingredients. So it was gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free, which is literally like fits all of my categories. I love staying away from sugar. Obviously I have it in moderation. Like today I had it with the cheesecake, but other than that, I really still have it because it hurts my stomach. I just feel like I'm so much more inflamed with it. So I just try to keep it out of my diet. I really love finding pre-made mixes like this that are gluten-free and that are yummy and easy to make, you know, and banana bread muffins just like, yes thank you like i will take them so we got that and then i also just picked up this white shirt it's so cute i feel like it's gonna be a perfect staple for fall i love the sleeves how they're kind of like on the shorter end i love that little look and the brand is thread and supply it's really good material i feel like the buttons are really cute on the top and i just love it it's gonna be like a staple for fall so i picked that up there were so many cute other things but i'm actually going on a little trip this next weekend where i'm just doing like a little getaway with my friends and we're gonna go shopping i'm kind of trying to save like my money and also just my shopping on there because i want to hit up the lululemon store just get some staples for fall i need to get some new bikers some new workout stuff and yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. Um, but I'm about to get up out of bed, even though I literally could just like, I think lay down here for the rest of the night and probably be content. I met my parents. I literally showed up in my jammies. This is my favorite jammie set. It's from Starfit. Love it. But every time I'm here, I love it because they have poppies here. They want orange cream, dog pop. I don't like the root beer one at all. Dog Pop is my favorite, but I've been really liking orange cream lately. I'm gonna do the orange cream one. Today, I'm so excited. Hi. Hi, is you excited that I'm home? Are you excited that I'm home? Hi. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I know that you missed me. I missed you so much. Oh my gosh. I wanted to show you guys these are what I was talking about earlier. So it's honest almond. They start she said they started carrying them in high V. Um, but it's banana muffins and has nine grams of plant protein. Literally, the ingredients are so good, guys. Like it's even coconut sugar over cane sugar which I love. They're at Hy-Vee now. I don't know if they're in any other places, but they were so good. Like, we, Oakley, you're like eating the bag. <laughs> they're really good. Okay, we're about to watch a movie. We're gonna cut, this is a cheesecake we got today. It's from Pure, Mom, how do you pronounce this? Pure Macronage? <laughs> Mac Macronage. Pure Macronage. They're out of Nebraska. Um, everything there was gluten-free, which is so nice. This is the pumpkin cheesecake, but please look at how good this looks. I'm so excited, so we're gonna cut it. Are we cutting it three ways, probably? Mm -hmm. Do you think this tastes like pumpkin? Mm, tastes more like caramel or something. I can't tell what it tastes like. 
like turtle. It's like the creamy sauce that tastes like not, not pumpkin. Literally so good. So we have Glenbook Christmas. This was cute. This is the very merry mix up. Mm -hmm. That's always a cute one. I do like that one too. I always like the ones with um, Candace Cameron. Yes. Right? I do too. Should we do Christmas Town? Yeah. Or do you want to do something else? No, let's do Christmas Let's time. do Christmas time. That's a good one. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be doing the rest of the night. So I'm going to end the vlog off here. I love you guys and thanks for watching. Peace out.